I like to think a lot of people who enjoy PvP overlook the qualities of Salmon Run and both the thrill and excitement that it has the potential to bring. I say this as I used to really just play Splatoon for PvP, but as of late I have been researching and observing the Salmonids and their behavior and how I can optimize situations to the best of my ability. If you are new, hello! If you've been here before, welcome back! I am Hydro Cynic, or you can call me Hydro. I've been a Salmon Run overfisher since February of 2022, growing to improve. As of late, I have been passionate about this mode to where I've been making content for it. This can vary from sharing some interesting tips and tricks, high level gameplay, tier lists, and more. For this video however, I wanted to do something pretty special. I wanted to be able to coach a PvP player and teach them the fine essences of Salmon Run overfishing. That being said, I figured I could use the help of Chase247 to pull this off. He's an amazing Julian Wiper user, making great quality content for Splatoon 3. Hey guys, it's Chase here, and today Hydro is going to teach me all of the ins and outs of overfishing. I'm pretty inexperienced in salmon runs, so I'm going to be taking in a lot of information. Will I be able to keep up with the pros? Let's find out. I'll be linking both his YouTube and his Twitch in the description. I'm happy to say that he has been approved as a Twitch partner. As of right now, he is nearing 30,000 subscribers, so if you'd like to see some great quality content, be sure to check him out. These sessions couldn't have been done without the help of Clash, Reiko, Thinsky, and Ricarnaldo, who are all excellent salmon runners. I'll be linking their social media in the description. Throughout the video, you'll see my personal favorite waves and the best game of the session. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Snatcher's bottom right, we can optimize left. To keep it short and simple, snatcher optimization means you can essentially leave out eggs on the opposite direction that the snatchers come from. In this instance, these ones come from behind the basket, so they're going to return with eggs like the one shown in this clip. I suppose snatchers can be your friends after all. No! <laughs> I'm using a Mod behind. Good pace, good pace. We could use Wavebreaker on middle great chase. Using a Wavebreaker at the last 18 to 20 seconds of the wave is essential for clearing out any lessers that can be blocking eggs. There can be many eggs that cannot be ran because of those potential groups of lessers, so it's great to ensure that the basket area is safe for depositing eggs. Oh no! Okay. Oh, nice! I threw the egg and it bounced off the ground and flew backwards. Oh. Please rush. Okay, the one time I don't mind it. Leave it to I me. I, leave it to me to filter. The Clash Blaster may be overlooked as a pretty lackluster weapon, but on rush waves like this, it takes down chums like a knife through butter. The indirect blast deals 50 damage and chums during glow flies only have 50 HP. So the two factors come together perfectly in this instance. Yeah, I do have wave breakers back up. It's on me. Changing. Okay, this is our chance to run eggs. Wait, is this... in crab. Okay. Okay. You filter, you filter. Once the crab is over, I'll use a uh, try strike. Oh, nice! Crab's over. Good strike. It's on me. Use wave. Thank you. Oh, they got overran. Right. 72 eggs on rush is crazy. Right. Um, so for killer will, use it when the second crate spawns at 55 seconds. And use it on the crate? Yeah, use it on the crate. It's the only thing you can target. It's gonna come from the left side, I believe. Unless if we're lucky and it, get, it comes from the right again. Get that killer whale ready uh, very shortly. Yep. And then wait until it drops and then you go. Left, go. Oh, 
All right, Thinsky, let's throw it to where, yeah. Oh no, that's uh, Chase. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah. We're gonna throw to this area right here, and then uh, another toss, and then we'll be good to go. Let's collect eggs until 30 seconds, and then at 30, let's okay. go back. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna use Jet. Help you out. When overfishing on tornado waves, special usage to ensure clean egg running is a very important aspect. We're running the eggs that come from the crate. It's usually best to use a wave breaker or a deep jet due to how well they can take care of lesser crowds. Trust the process. All right, here we go, final run. Trust the nice. process, man. Trust the process and it all works out. <laughs> That's definitely the most I got in on that wave before. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. This one's going basket. Gonna see. Okay, nice. Front left. We can optimize top right eggs. I'm sorry, top left. I think this one's going away. Oh, no, it is. Uh, going to basket. Chase, crab the nets, Goldie, okay? Okay. Yes. That's perfect. As obvious as it sounds, the crab is an excellent specialty used during seeking against a Goldie by the basket, especially around the halfway mark when things begin to ramp up. When in its fast firing mode, the crustaceous tank makes for great quick damage. Do you still have one crab? Nice. I do. This one's my basket. Oh, no, it's not. It's left side. Top left. Uh, right, I think this one might go to basket. This one? Get that crab ready, yeah. Yep, crab. Alright, just uh, get basket eggs. And uh, right egg. Absolutely smashing. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I have two crabs! Damn it! If you're curious as to why I'm upset about Mothership of All Waves, well, uh, this happened. Uh, there's three fucking big shots. Now here's a pretty interesting trick. If you ever have the crab tank on Mothership, try using its fast firing mode from behind the Mothership as it moves close to the basket. What will happen is that the Chinooks that spawn from the Mothership will drop their eggs above the basket and you will save plenty of time in this process. I got that second crab ready. Don't- do not aim your strikes at the Mothership by the way. Nah, 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 nah. Nice, I'm getting basket. Can you see why I'm... <laughs> see? Yeah. Check for snatcher. Bottom right, bottom right. Nice. What? It fell in the water. That's good. That's your... Yeah, it's not bad. You think about it. Gonna wait now. I'll get first. Satcher coming? Get left egg? Good aggro. Nice. I'm not gonna go. Oh, nice! nice. No, dude. Nice, so oh, nice! There might not be enough time. Mm. Nice. Oh, oh, damn it! Dang it. Hey, hang on. It's it's still two it's two hundred is still possible, just gonna be really okay. hard. Two whales. No special. Okay, we have two whales and two I, strikes. I, 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 yeah, two strikes, yeah. Just let me know when to use the strikes. Snatcher's bottom right, we can optimize left. Two right, uh I got more. Striking. Strike the right fish stick. Okay. 
and the middle flat. Whoops, still have Nice. Um, get middle legs. Th uh, get those middle legs. Okay, I'm getting them. You could just directly throw them. I missed. Dang it. Is that 200? Well, that's a personal best for me still. <laughs> yeah, and it's nightless. Yeah, true. Oh, nice. right. Just before 30 seconds, too. Nice. Hey, that was still really good. Yeah, I'm happy about that. <laughs> no! Unfortunately, 200 eggs did not happen, but with a very close 198 egg shift, we're bound to get it next time. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe. As of right now, I'm aiming for 1,000 subscribers, and every bit genuinely helps. I'll see you next time.